Hi, good day to everyone. This is the Nubian Prince, and I'm here with you with a quick astrological report. And um, I'm here to give you a bit of information in regarding to the Mercury retrograde that's going to take place from the, the 6th of February throughout until the 20th of February. In this time, a lot of things normally take place within Mercury retrograde, and um, it also get blamed for a lot of things in our lives um, when this period of time do occur. But the question is, what does it mean? Does it all deserve our attention? Or uh, what exactly is a Mercury retrograde? For those of you who don't know about the astrological happening, here is a lowdown in the layman terms. The planetary rules, communication, which is Mercury, it rules communication, it rules um, travel, contracts, automobiles, and such. It goes into retrograde motion, or motion that makes it appear to be going backwards in the night sky. This normally happens like three times a year for approximately three weeks at a time. Whenever Mercury is retrograding, there are usually much confusion. People forget the little things and delays and frustration do happen. Astrologicals, uh, astrologicals recommend against starting anything new when Mercury goes into retrograde mode. But even if you can't begin new endeavors, you can also still use the aspect to good use as well. You just need to learn to work with the energy of Mercury rather than against it. Let's explore the pros and also the cons of this cosmic force and how to wait out the period until Mercury goes forward or you would say direct. There is a wind up period about two weeks before Mercury goes retrograde. During this period of time, you should finish pretty much any business at hand. When Mercury goes to retrograde, make sure you have all your current project, um, I would say, finished. And um, what, it, what it is, for example, anyone, obviously for myself, um, I'm a Gemini person, so obviously whenever like Mercury into the retrograde, because we are known specifically for communication, um, anything have to do with the mindset so i think sometimes that do affect us more than what we even think but to all of those out there who are gemini's these are the time that we have to be very cautious with our words and whatever we have to do with information as well at large so here are a few of the the don'ts which i would include into this video that you shouldn't be partaking within that period of time what to do what not to do during the Mercury retrograde, the don'ts. Don't start anything new within that period of time. Don't make important decisions. Don't buy computers or any appliances, etc. Don't travel without any backup plans. Don't sign contracts. Don't buy a new car. Don't negotiate a contract. Don't file a lawsuit or anything have to do with court matters. Start. Don't start a new job. Don't begin a new class at that time as well. And don't go on a first date for that matter as well. Don't expect things to move quickly. Nor don't take anything for granted. Those are the don'ts. And what to expect within the, the period of the, of the Mercury um, retrograde. You're going you're gonna to expect people to get angrier. People, to, you're going to have more crazy drivers on the street. You may have more accidents because, like I said, a lot of miscommunication will be taking place. Then also you're going to have miscommunication. You may have a lot of quarrels within the relationship or just normal relationships. You may have a lot of computer going to be um, breakdown. You may have severe delays whether it by travel or any kind of commute. You may have a lot of mistakes taking place. You may have slow mail. Um, games, a phone tag, you may have wrong directions, miss appointments, and also a lot of things which, you know, you can think of yourself that could ever go wrong within that period of time. And um, 
what Mercury retrograde good for? If you know when Mercury retrograde hits, which is about every three months, you can work with it rather than against it energy. Remember, there is a re in retrograde. So these weeks are good for redoing just about anything. And a few of the examples are for the re is to reapply for a job, redo your hair or whatever the color is. You can rewrite your resume. You can review your bank account. You can renew a loan. You can repair your, your car. You can re, re contact um, past clients or friends or family members. And you can also do some research as well of your own. So those are just quick things, like I said, within the period of time, come up to the Mercury retrograde. And bear in mind, like many people might be skeptic about it, but even though you might be skeptic, the planetary shift will be taking place regardless of our input or our output. So bear in mind for those who play pay key attention to the planetary shifts and see how whatever role it does play in your life. This, like I said, simple report is to kind of give you an idea for this coming month with the Mercury retrograde. So keep in mind, like I said, that you can do more research on it. Like I said, this is just like a, a layman term or layman report, just so the basic people could understand it. For those who want to understand the Mercury retrograde or anything have to do with the pl planetary shifts and stuff. So this is just my few words on it. So feel free to thumb up this video and please share the information if you found it very valuable to you and also your needs. And thank you to listen to the Nubian Prince and please remember to subscribe as well. And please listen up for the other video coming soon. Thank you very much. Peace.